Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 6-2 win against Crober in the Sussex County Cup. Into the semi-finals now, Adam. How are you feeling uh, after that one? Um, yeah, listen, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to, to Crober in any shape whatsoever. I thought that was fantastic and, um, you know, they've come and, you know, our scoreline's flattered us massively, to be honest with you. Um, I thought they was excellent. I thought they deservedly led for large part of that game um, and yeah we had to make some changes to, to, to G up the, the squad a little bit um, so yeah we was missing some players um, some players that needed to rest after Saturday some players that are away on work and bits and and stuff and away um, for whatever reason um, but that gives you an opportunity and I just think too many players played nervous, played scared, and um, you know what. What I want to see is what Finney Chadwick showed when he came on. Um, you know, really wanted to show what he was about, and felt like he had an opportunity to go and show what he could do. And I thought he took it, um, and I think that's all um, you want to see from the players. Um, you know, rightly so. The, the fans, you know, stuck with uh, stuck with us, um, but. Could see a few getting disgruntled at half time from what they were seeing because we was getting out for out worked at home. Um, you know, I just showing the lads a clip there of a header. Um, first half, well, um, we got a three versus one situation, um, and we turning our back on on stuff that's coming in our box. And you know, whatever level of football you play, that's just unacceptable. What do you think it was that was missing? Because when Joel and Lewis White came on a little bit later in the game, it felt like a lot of that changed and the tie started to turn. What do you think was missing with the team that started? Um, it just looked a team lacking confidence, really. Um, you know, I know we've had a couple of defeats um, by the odd goal. Um, we conceded a lot of goals at home on Saturday, so obviously you expect their confidence to be hit a little bit. But you know, there were still some changes made. Um, you know, Carl's come in and, and done done well, or done okay at left back. Um, uh, JB's come in. You know, he's been on the team for a long time, and you know, um, Joel and Ruben have been playing fullbacks and, and doing well and keeping him out of the team. And you know, you're looking for um, something from him to go and show what he's all about. Um, and just seemed like a, a nervous edge to us, and uh, we, we definitely let leaders and characters and, and maybe when Joel comes on um, you know, that's why I made him captain because I think he just leads by example um, you know he has a real determination no matter what he's doing whether he's training whether he's playing that he doesn't want to doesn't want to lose and we need a few more with that kind of mentality. Joel I mean you've said it many times this season how good he's been and especially the last couple of months he's been sensational um, how big of a player is he it's just remarkable how good he's been no, yeah, he's, he's really performing at a, a top level at the moment. Um, you just watch our highlights and, you know, it looks like um, you're an instant replay uh, trying to get Joel a move because uh, you know, it just seems to be him, his highlight reel at the moment. So him putting the ball over the top and getting assists. So, no, he's been, he's been excellent. He's been first class and, you know, you want him to keep on going in that vein and hopefully he drags one or two uh, with him and a bit more, a bit more quality out of one or two. But, um, no, yeah, it's, it's pleasing Liam, got some more minutes under his belt, uh, a little bit longer today, um, so to do him the world of good with his fitness, obviously Mo Dabra get 90 today was, was important, um, Lewis White to get some, some minutes under his belt, um, you know, still with the injuries that he's had, we're a bit cautious with him, um, playing Saturday Tuesday, so it's good that he can, you know, get that under his belt for his uh, mentality as well, um, you know, Deli Barker just felt his knee a little bit, so we didn't want to risk him tonight um, but yes yeah, it's, it's at this stage of the competition you want to take it as seriously um, as you can and get as many players out there as, as possible and uh, yeah it was um, good to, good to, we're probably relieved to, to come through in the end. Remiss of us to mention Ibia Canby tonight as well uh, four goals from the end although one might have been an own goal but we'll, uh, yeah. we'll keep that to one side um, but for Ibi, he's not started quite so many games recently so how big could that be for his confidence? No definitely sense? yeah exactly he's a, he's a goal scorer he you know, wants to score goals I think he'd be disappointed he's not got six I think he had two 
glorious opportunities and he scores that one with his left foot um, at the end, you know, fantastic strike. But I think that just shows the quality that he's got. Um, and yeah, he'd have been frustrated and, and that's what you want. You want players to go and work hard and, and show what they're about um, when they're out of the team. And um, yeah, we, I think we need a few more with that kind of mentality, but it do his confidence a lot good. He's a goal scorer and he's got four goals, so he'll be definitely, hopefully, um, you know, raring to go on and training on Thursday and, and doing all he can to, to try and start for Saturday. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Cheers.